So here we are running out of gas. It does take a few days to actually run out of gas. This is just the meter going from one to uh, dashes because we're out of gas. And we'll see all the cool things the Prius does when it runs out of gas. And later on, electricity. Engine here. There we go, turn on the engine. Back on the highway. Let's drain this tank. Oh, look at that nice sunset. Not really coming out on the camera too beautiful, but it is nice right here. I can't believe for the second day I'm going to fail at running, trying to run out of gas. It looks like we made another round trip from Erie to Edinburgh. On empty. We made it! Another 0.03 gallons of gas. No gas. You see this one now? This is the beautiful one now, right? You see here? We have no gas and we have no electricity. Oh. <laughs> We're running on magic now. All oh, right, so this is the third, fourth day trying to run out of gas. As you can see, we have no gasoline miles left. We have 25 electric miles left. Been doing this for a few days. I didn't think it would last so long. But I'm going to turn on the engine now. Let's see how much further we have to go. Oh, I felt something there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are out of gas now. So, yeah, perfect. Okay, so you can see what happened. We are completely out of gas now. And we just switched over to EV. We're actually still on hybrid vehicle mode, but the engine is off. And we're running on pure electricity. I'm going to run on this for a little bit here. We've actually slowed down, too. I have my cruise control still set. That is very interesting, too. My cruise control is still set. At... 82 and you can see we're only going 63 that's very interesting so it's it's still in hybrid mode so it'll only give a certain amount of power it seems to the car huh that's it so it limited it to like a 62 max as if it was a regular prius that's very interesting okay so we're still in hybrid mode And if I step on the gas, oh, you see, I'm flooring it right now. And it'll only give it 25 amps. That's so interesting. So I'm going to drive the rest of the way here before I get gas. Cause I'm, I think that's really neat. It drives as if it needs the engine still. And it won't give that full power. There are no other air lights or anything telling us we're out of gas, which is kind of interesting too. <laughs> so you really, if you had electricity, you really wouldn't know that you're completely out of gas at this point. There's no air warning. There's no, like I've had this maintenance thing forever here. It's because it wasn't reset properly, I think, last time. But anyway... There's nothing at the moment telling me I'm out of fuel. The only reason I know is because I was doing this on purpose. I mean, you think at least the, that gas symbol over there turned red or something. All the doodads in here, you think it would tell you. I'm curious if you ran out of gas and electricity, then what would it... Uh, would it finally display an error? I guess, like any other car, it doesn't tell you it's out of gas. You just look at your gauge and say, oh, it's not moving. That must be the problem. I guess we can test a little bit by turning the heat up, maybe. This is me stepping it again. So I'll only go 24 amps. <clears throat> Got the, my pedal to the floor. So here we go again, I'm to the floor. We're only getting 24 amps, not accelerating very fast at all. OK, 
Okay, so the heat definitely has problems too because I have it set on 80 right now. And it is a... Uh, there's air coming out, but it's definitely not ramping up like it should. Okay, so our, our fan is keeps going down and down, even though I have it set at 82. It can again. Three. Yeah. Even though I have it set at 82, the fan keeps going down. You can definitely feel there's none. There's still warm air, but it's, it's definitely not blowing like it should at 82. The inside's going down. It's down to 68 now. So it's definitely treating the car as if it was a regular Prius. It's not going, you know. Like we're limited to the 25. 24, 25 amps. So now let's switch to EV mode. And then of course now we can go amps. The heat's going to come back on. But now let's try to switch back to hybrid mode and see what happens. So we can still switch back to hybrid mode. And now I can actually use... Nope, I'm still limited to the same kind of thing. Now we're going to try one more thing. We're going to try to turn on charge mode. See what happens. <laughs> there are you charge mode not available, battery full. That's kind of a weird message because the battery is not full. Yes, Chloe. My phone is probably So I have my foot to the floor now. You can see on the thing over there. See that red arrow? And we're not accelerating. We're going to go down this hill. I'm trying not to speed up too much so I can show you that you're limited in power. So on, my foot's to the floor. We're going 37 and not accelerating. We're actually decelerating a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to give the poor starving Prius some more gas. What? Let's see, do I still have it in hybrid mode actually? Yeah, okay, I still have it in hybrid mode. So let's see if it automatically recognizes that the car got gas. So we have our heat up to 82, so it should call for the engine to come on. But I think in, I'm kind of thinking until we turn the car off, it won't check to see if there's fuel in there or not. But I do want to test that. So let's make this turn here. Let's hit the accelerator. Yeah, see, it doesn't know there's gas still. Even, well, now it says 494 in there, but I'm stepping on it, and it's not turning on the engine. So we're still running in hybrid mode. Papa, I can't see. Yeah, it's dark. Papa. Let me step on it again. Papa. Let me turn it out of hybrid mode and back into hybrid I can't mode. See my and yeah, it still doesn't want to. I'm gonna put it like an electric mode. We're just gonna drive in electric mode till we run out. And then we'll see what happens. What's going on, Cole? It still won't turn that engine on. Uh, it knows the tank's full. You can see the yellow at the top there in uh, 493 miles here in the tank so still the hybrid modes acting like an old prius and, and limiting the amount of output and also not operating the heat properly so you see i'm losing my speed a little bit here because we're limited to that 25 kilowatts i'm gonna have to put it back in ev mode so i don't get in anybody's way here so we'll be able to test the running out of gas and electric uh, because i didn't turn off the car when i filled it with gas it still thinks it's empty um, we can do that safely because we really do have a full tank of gas, so when we run out, we should just be able to restart the car, and it should see the gas and then operate normally. So here we test the heat. Uh, you can see the cabin's down to 64 degrees. It still isn't working, even though we're in EV mode. 
you know, he set it up to 82 and it still just uh, isn't heating the cabin because it still thinks it's out of gas. I don't know why it deactivates it in EV mode too, though. Kind of weird. I mean, I'm really getting all, no heat. Oh, I'm actually getting cold air blowing on me now. But yet it's still saying, if you turn off the heat, so watch this, we'll turn off the heat. And now it'll give me more miles. That's kind of interesting. Even though it doesn't seem to be providing any heat at all. So here we go. Now we have no electricity and no gas. Well, we have gas, but it doesn't know we have gas. I'm only going to let it go down 9% because that's all it lets it do. But, oh, see, here we go. Hybrid system stopped. Steering power low. So now we have air messages everywhere. I'm actually, right now, the car is not moving. I hit the gas. You can see on the thing, I have the gas. I'm hitting it, and it's not doing anything. So the car is actually, this is what would happen if you were out of gas. The power steering does seem fine right now. Hovering right now. I'm just gonna turn. We'll test our power steering again too. Okay. So now we're on an empty road here. So it's still funny because it's not. It's just saying a hybrid system isn't running. That the power steering will be low. That's its warning. But as you can see, I have absolutely no power. Can't even use the um, what's left of the traction battery. We're just dead right now. So that's what happens when you totally run it gas and electric. Papa, why are stopping? So now let's turn off the power. There we go. Now the engine's back. And we're back to normal. It's like nothing ever happened. But yeah, so apparently you have to turn off the system, turn on the system. Information. Uh, you're probably well aware. To get uh, gas back. So now let's do a turnaround here. We're turning around. Because we ran the car out of gas, you're doing a little test. So let's review what we learned here today. So what does a Prius Prime do when it runs out of gas? Well, first off, it takes quite some time to run out of gas. Uh, it's only about one and a half gallons, but it, it will get you about 60 miles of travel after it's empty. I do warn you, though, I had another Prius before, and it was very, it was a variable uh, time. So don't definitely don't rely on it. Uh, it does limit the car's output to uh, 25 kilowatts from the normal 63 kilowatts. Uh, it also makes the car's max speed reduced to around 60 miles an hour on the highway. Um, there is no heat. Uh, even if there's a charged battery, uh, it seems it doesn't allow the heat to run. Uh, this might change if you were to shut the car off and then start it again. I did not try that, so that might work to get your heat back, even if you're out of gas but you have electric um, you can't use charge mode, mode of course, um, but it tells you that you can't because the battery is full even when it's not. So what happens when you fill it back up? It, uh, if you don't turn it off and you fill it up, it still thinks it has no gas until you reboot it. Uh, it limits the power the same as when it had no gas unless you change to EV mode and you have a battery charge. Um, the heat still doesn't work um, in hybrid mode. Again, this is all, or in EV mode, this is all if you didn't reboot it. Um, it even suggests uh, that you would get more miles with the heat off 
even though it seems to not be heating. And when you uh, run out of both gas and electric, um, the hybrid system, you get a message that says hybrid system stop and it says power steering will be low. Um, but of course the car just doesn't move so it's much worse than your power steering being low. Um, it works fine after a reboot as long as you have gas in it of course. And uh, last thing because everybody always picks on me when I do videos like this. Uh, six months later car's just fine. So I don't think there's any long term damage. Just like any other car you run out of gas if it's old you know you might have uh, some chunks getting in your fuel filter or something but uh, car's almost three years old it's been wonderful I highly suggest the Prius Prime it is one of the most economical vehicles I could find I ran all the numbers on that I'll make a video on that someday too but uh, hope you enjoyed uh, have fun